My dad beat the gargoyles in Dark Souls by himself. This is really cool, Dad. Well, well, I mean, this is that's actually really cool. Oh, by buddy, way, we're only ten percent of the way through the game. Are you? What do you? Did this you when we got up the first time I got on this thing, you're like, well, there's going to be this gargoyle. And he's going to jump down, and then and then after you after you've got him halfway down, then another gargoyle is going to jump down. That's how I was introduced <laughs> to the the last two days of my life. That's how I was introduced to it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <coughs> I'm so proud of you, though. Well, do you know it, how? Do you know how many gamer boys, like from my generation, probably made that attempt and just gave up? But you persisted. Like, you actually. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, that gargoyle fight. A lot of people who get into Dark Souls for the first time, they reach that fight, they die a few times, and then they just say "fuck this" and they uninstall or. They trade it in at GameStop, and they well, just—they just never—they just never—they never come back. Uh, I, it, it, for for me, it was it, it, you know it 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 was something. Obviously, at at that point, I, it was something I I wanted to do, and I knew I was going to do it. But once once I once I once I stopped just getting overall flustered and frustrated, and just get jumping into the nevers and always, you know, and really started to pick it apart and go, okay, here's the thing. The only way that I'm going to beat this is to is to not play the way I'm fucking playing right now, and I'm not going to stop playing the way I'm playing right now by just getting all in a in a frenzy and just rushing up and screaming and hollering. I mean, there were times there were there were times, even this morning, I, I got cornered by the by the mummy guys. They can they can get you wedged in, and you can't you you just sit there and you just get because. Those those fuckers they get going they get going with the with the with the razors there and they 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 slice and dice you pretty quickly. Each of those nicks isn't isn't that hard, but 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 it but when there's three of them getting on you, I am so looking forward to continuing this game. At this point, I went from being sick of it and ready to quit to not you know I'm determined I'm gonna. Die. I'm gonna win. You know, it's not nothing like that. It's just, it's just. I've had similar feelings in the past. No, I, I'm sure you've probably remembered me screaming something similar, like when I was like growing up playing these games. The, the, I guess, I guess the thing is, I, I guess I, res- I respect it. You know, I, I think it's, I think it's easy, and you know, and I did tench you when I did siphon filter, and you know, they were lots oh, yeah. of buttons and all of that stuff and everything. But there's when they. There is a difference since, like, really, we could say Tenchu was the last sort of game like this that I ever played by myself. And this Actually, game, you know I'm you know not playing funny? by myself. Yeah. But uh, go, you, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to remark that there's a, there's a YouTuber I do follow. He, uh, he was talking about uh, this game. He... Uh, it's, it's a YouTuber by the name of, uh, Josh Strife Hayes. He did a video on Tenchu, Was It Ever Any Good? And he actually discussed about how it was, like, the precursor to Dark Souls combat. Like, the combat system in Tenchu right. actually does have some similarities to the combat system. And I'm not talking about the stealth kills, but even, even with the stealth kills, because there's backstabbing and parrying in Dark Souls. You know, like, performing a backstab in Dark Souls is equivalent of doing, like, a stealth kill in Tenchu. And when you're doing, like, when you're fighting the bosses in Tenchu, you gotta memorize their attack patterns, you gotta back up and block, you gotta, like, dodge. And in Dark Souls, it's it's a similar thing. It's just, it's a, it's a more modern game, so there's just more complexity with the Dark Souls combat. But, you know, I watched this video and I was thinking about that, and it, I could kind of see the similarities, yeah. you know? Tenchu mm-hmm. combat, the combat system in Tenchu, uh, could very well be the precursor to the combat system of Dark Souls. All I know is that I started off all of this very frustrated, very scared, especially when the second one came, and scared all the time. If I touch them, I'm going to die. We talked about this, which is probably not going to make it. So that I had, that I. Had, I had talked about, you know, the land that I come from. If you touch the boss, you're dead. Yeah, you touch the boss, you're dead. 